So if you're among those that first saw this video when it was released before it went viral, say hi to me in the comment section. <laughs> And if you're also among those that watched this unhealthy number of times, also say hi to me in the comment section. Hey guys, it's Annie here. Welcome to my channel. How you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Who could have thought that a song that was released about 30 years ago would go viral in the year 2024? Like, can you even be that? All thanks to Brain Jota who got used to make this possible. Because as we speak, honor is being given to whom honor is due. The owner of that song is Gentleman Mike Ejaya, who was born in the year 19. 31. He is a folklorist, songwriter, and musician from Enugu State. He started his career in the mid 20th century. His first hit song was in 1960, the year of Nigerians' independence. Gentleman Mike Ejaya uses storytelling to bring his music to life. He writes his songs by himself, and his lyrics are in Igbo language. Now, this particular song that went viral is titled Kesele Onisioche, a song which was released in the year 1983 as part of his album Akoko Negu Vol 1 and all thanks to Brain Jota who puts out his content as usual without knowing that God is about to use him to bless someone. So this song Kesile Onyisioche which from the context of the song means don't mock someone who has fallen is centered around the cleverness of tortoise and the strength of an elephant. So since Brain Jota posted that video and that video went viral a lot of people has joined the challenge as of the time of making this video that video has garnered over 29 million views and and over 30,000 comments. And guys, as I still make this video, a lot of people are still joining the challenge. And if this is not grace, tell me what else it is. This particular one you're seeing is that of Nosarex and Mary Lazarus. They really took theirs to the next level. So as this song went viral and a lot of people joined the challenge, some people took it upon themselves to pay this man a visit in his home. And you can trust that they will not go there empty-handed. And that is not all. Brain Jota reached out to Tunde Edna to be able to find this man so that he could give him 2 million naira. So while a lot of people were commending Brain Jota for making that move by giving this man 2 million naira, a lot of people were not having it. For those people who were commending Brain Jota, according to them, if not that Brain Jota used this song in his video and the song went viral, nobody will remember Mike Ejara again. For some people who were not having it, this is what one of them had to to say so this is coming from foundational new pay lawyer i hope i pronounced this correctly he said i hope the man has a good lawyer you can't use someone's song for content raking millions and offer to give the man two million naira as if you're helping the man guys what do you think about this but guys come to think of this i thought that instagram does not operate like youtube where you cannot use anybody's song anyhow on youtube you can't just use people's song you can only use their song on your shorts which is just a minute long but on instagram I think is a fair use if you use someone's song and you tag the person. I don't think you owe the person anything. Please, if I'm wrong, correct me because I've been seeing tons and tons of videos on Instagram that has songs of artists and nobody has come out to sue anybody. The community guideline of Instagram is not the same with that of YouTube. And besides, if Brain Jota hadn't used this song, nobody will remember Mike Ejaga. That song would not go viral. People will not pay Mike Ejaga a visit. And there will be no 2 million naira for Mike Ejaga. It would have just been normal content as usual. And we move. So I think the guy is just yanning doors because there is no case. That is my own take on this. Let me also see your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about this whole issue? What are your thoughts? Let me see them in the comment section. And please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by hitting the red subscribe button and put on your post notifications so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section. See you in my next video.